the party It's the birthday of dear Mother Mary Come on, let's dance, it's a fiesta Feliz cumpleaños, Maria Maria, Maria, la milagrosa Maria, la madre de Dios Pray for all of us sinners Now and forever Welcome to our Novena Mass in honor of our Mother Mary for the celebration of her birthday. Today is the second day of our Novena. Let us join in the singing of our entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to our second day of our 
Novena Mass in honor to our Mother Mary. Let us offer all our intentions and petitions to God through the intercession of Blessed Mary. To be worthy in the sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and pardon. Let us pray. Grant us merciful God protection in our weakness that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may with the help of her intercession rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree 
of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, and so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His only harm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made His salvation known. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before Him. In love, He destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. 
Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding twenty to thirty gallons. Jesus told them, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it, and when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one, but you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory. And his disciples began to believe in him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Gospel for the second day of our Novena Mass is very fitting for all of us because it shows that Mary can intercede for us. Mary the mother of Jesus can intercede for all our requests. Mary will not just abandon us. Mary will not just say, no, no way. Being a mother, she knows our need. That is why in our gospel, the newlywed couple ran out of wine and it is a shame shame for the couple to run out of wine during the, their festivities mary came to the rescue mary intercede mary mary of our mother help the newlywed couple in order not to be put into a bad light that is why mary approached jesus and we know it jesus said it is not yet my time to make miracle it is not yet my time to do signs but Mary insisted. And Mary told the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Do whatever he tells you. My dear friends, this shows that Mary is very near to the heart of Jesus. That is why we are preparing for her birthday. Preparing to celebrate Mama Mary birthday celebration. That is the reason why we have this Novena Mass. Because we want to thank her. Because Mary can truly intercede for us. For our needs. 
and Mary will never abandon us. Mary will always be there to rescue us, to rescue us, to give her support for us as children. So, my dear friends, let us listen to our Mother Mary because Mary is telling us, do what my son tells you. Do what Jesus is telling me right now. Is telling you right now. We should do it without doubt. We should believe on the grace of God. If you are lonely, then listen to the word of God. His assurance. He is telling us, if you are bored, then come to me and I will give you rest. Jesus is our comforter. If we are feeling alone, Jesus is telling us, I am with you until the end of time. Do whatever Jesus is telling us. If we feel afraid and worried about this time of pandemic, Jesus is telling us, do not be afraid. It is I. It is I. It is Jesus telling us, do not be afraid. Let's move on with our life. That is the good news, my dear friends. We should do what Jesus is commanding us. We just reflect in our heart. Yesterday, it is about our heart. But today, is telling us, do whatever Jesus wants us to do. Because like Mary is interceding for all of us. And that is the good news. I know during our Novena Masses, nine days Novena Masses, I know you are with me, you are celebrating our Novena with us because of our request. Always remember, Mary is very near to Jesus and Mary can intercede for our request because only Jesus, only Jesus can grant our request. So my dear friends, let us offer now our prayers to the Son of Mary, to our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. So at this very moment, my dear friends, I invite you to bow your head, close your eyes if you can, and join me in my prayer as I am lifting up all your intentions during this prayer. Believe, do not doubt, God can grant all our requests if our heart and mind is one and asking God with all our faith in Him everything will be granted to us believe do not doubt so my dear friends just bow your head close your eyes open your mind Open your heart to the blessing of God. Heavenly Father, we are th thanking you for sending your son Jesus to Mary in order for us to know Jesus, in order for us 
to love Jesus in order for us to serve Jesus. We thank you, Father, for sending our Lord Jesus Christ to be our Savior, our healer, our guide. Lord Jesus, you promise us when two or three are gathered in your name, you are among them. We hold on to that promise of yours and we beg you, Lord, that all our intentions offered during this Mass, entrusted to my prayers, and the intentions of those who are joining with us in our live streaming Mass, be granted by your Heavenly Father through your name, Jesus. In your name, Jesus. In your mighty name, Jesus. I leave all of these intentions to you, Lord Jesus. Bless them. Grant them. In your name. In your mighty name, Lord Jesus. We believe in you. As our Mother Mary is telling us, do whatever you are telling us. We believe in you, Lord Jesus. We trust in you. And we offer all these intentions to you. Because you said to us, if we are burdened and are worried, we need to come to you and you will give us rest. You promised to us that you are always with us until the end of time. Lord Jesus, we leave all of this to you as we are praying from our heart and mind with full faith in you, Lord Jesus. Bless us, protect us, and give us all the blessing that we are praying at this novena. My dear friends, I give you a minute of silence. I beg you to pray. Pray. Offer to God what is in your mind and heart right now. Give it to Jesus. Your request, just believe. It will be granted by God in His time not our time. I give you one minute that you can pray to Jesus, to our Lord and God. Please use this time to talk to Jesus heart to heart.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of the sacrifice may by your grace Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the Blessed Virgin Mary. Watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you gave life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, 
by the same Spirit graciously make holy. These gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of, our, of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command, we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again in glory. Therefore, as, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the, his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Pablo Virgilio, our Bishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to, the, to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world that is good. Through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family, let us 
pray the prayer that our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. This is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray for the sick, especially those affected by the COVID-19 virus and its variants. Let us pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people fast to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us a grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. San Ezequiel Moreno, pray for us. For our friends joining us today in our online Mass, let us pray the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, Amen. That's right. 
prayer for the nativity of our Mama Mary, second day. We fly to thy patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our necessities and deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Meditation We find the explanation of the great prerogatives and privileges which God bestowed upon the Blessed Virgin Mary. By reflecting on her singular and glorious predestination, from all eternity she was predestined to become the mother of his divine son. Therefore, says Pope Pius IX, God loved her above all created beings, and in his special predilection, made her the object of his divine complacency. With singular appropriateness, we may apply to her the words of the scripture, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Jeremiah 31, 3 The Eternal Father regarded Mary as his beloved daughter. The Divine Son honored her as her dearest mother. The Holy Ghost loved her as his spotless spouse. And says Saint Anselm, they love each other with an affection unsurpassed by any other. Practice inspired by the contemplation of Mary's extraordinary privileges, Saint. Anselm exclaims, Thou, O Mary, art more exalted than the patriarchs, greater than the martyrs, more glorious than the confessors, purer than the virgins, and therefore thou alone canst achieve more than they can without thee. Let us then rejoice that we possess such powerful advocate in heaven and let us place implicit trust in her. But let us also cooperate with the graces and favors which she obtained for us. Moreover, let us remember that we grievously offend God and Mary if we abuse what we obtain through her intercession to gratify our evil inclinations, and that the graces she obtains for us for our salvation will redound to our ruin if we do not use them for the glory of God and the promotion of our soul's welfare. Prayer of the Church Grant to us, thy servants, we beseech thee, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace that to those for whom the delivery of Blessed Virgin was the commencement of salvation, the commemoration of her nativity, may give increasing peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Litany of Loreto Prayer We hail thee, Mary, 
who sprang from the royal line of David, didst come forth to the light of heaven with a high honor from the womb of Holy Anna, thy most happy mother. O Mary, who didst come to the world free from stain, obtain of God for me that I may live it without sin. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. At this very moment, I am very grateful for joining with us in our Novena Masses. Thank you for your continuous journeying with us. And again, I am promoting to all of you the statue of the Holy Family. This is the official uh, statue for the devotion of 2000 Hail Mary's Rosary. If you want to avail the statue, kindly contact Sister Mary Jan Racines SMCC with her cell phone number 0917-633-8384. Thank you for joining with us. And always be assured that we are praying for all of you. If you have intentions, just message us. You can make comment in our YouTube channel, YFF Bayanihan channel, or you can like and follow our Facebook account, Mama Mary Prayer Sanctuary. You can message us. Just write your comment or message us on Facebook for your prayer request, for your intentions. We are here to pray for all of them. Thank you. Thank you for joining with us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go and continue serving the Lord through Mary. Thanks be to God.